Hey Psyched Goers, welcome back to another video and thank you all so much for being here. With your help and support, we're able to succeed in our mission to make mental health and psychology more accessible to everyone. So thanks again. Before we begin, we would like to make a disclaimer that this video is for informative purposes only. It is not intended to treat or diagnose any condition. If you're struggling, please reach out to a qualified mental health professional. With that said, let's continue. Depression can affect anyone, regardless of their age, which means it can also affect children and adolescents. Statistics show that about 3% of children between the ages of three to 17 deal with depression. However, the percentage tends to be higher in children older than 13. In the US alone, an estimated 3.2 million children and adolescents have had at least one major depressive episode and 31.9% have had an anxiety episode. The causes of childhood depression can vary, but some are family history, bullying, environment, or family problems, physical illness, or stress. Despite common perception, children do experience stress, which can invariably, if left untreated, cause depression. Unlike in adults, depression in children presents itself differently. Symptoms vary from irritability to low energy. If symptoms last longer than two weeks, it's best to reach out to a healthcare provider. So here are eight signs that signal childhood depression. Number one, severe moodiness. Though children are usually moody and feel lots of heavy emotions, severe highs and lows can be a signal of depression. For example, your child may seem all right one moment, but suddenly they break out into an emotional outburst the next. Though emotional outbursts usually have a trigger, like a broken toy, an emotional outburst without a defined trigger is a symptom of depression. They may be dealing with emotions that they don't know how to articulate, let alone cope with. Another sign of moodiness is irritability. They experience increased sensitivity and hence more bouts of irritability. This symptom can manifest itself through angry fights, increased emotional sensitivity, increased anxiety, or emotional numbness. If you notice these symptoms in your child, be compassionate and always willing to listen without judgment. Puberty is difficult enough without having to deal with mental health issues. Number two, low energy. A hallmark symptom of depression is low energy. Your child may seem unwilling to do things or participate in daily tasks. They exhibit lethargy or extreme fatigue. Though this symptom is commonly interpreted as anemia, especially in children, it can also be depression. Depression represses many neurotransmitters, namely serotonin. Serotonin helps you sleep, but more importantly, serotonin helps you get REM sleep. Although your child may be going to bed every night, they may be having difficulty getting the restorative sleep they need. Though for us adults, sleep aids like melatonin or sleeping pills help, it's best to keep these substances away from children. Number three, lack of interest in fun activities. Depression robs you of any joy or happiness. It sucks the color out of life, creating a now gray world in their eyes. If you notice that your child experiences a lack of interest, please talk to them. Let them know that you're willing to listen without judgment. If they're willing to speak to you, suggest help from children and young people's mental health service specialists. Number four, change in eating habits. As a cause of lack of interest and poor sleep, children can also experience changes in their eating habits. Changes in eating and sleeping habits are telltale signs of depression, regardless of age. Feelings of worthlessness or hopelessness can affect eating and sleeping patterns, causing your child to either overeat or not eat at all. Food triggers chemical responses in the brain, hence altering emotions. For example, cars trigger a dopamine release, which allows your child to feel comforted whenever they eat a plate of pasta or sugary pastries. To help them cope with emotionally triggered changes in eating habits, introduce a healthier diet filled with nutrients and vitamins that can help them cope with depression better. Number five, feelings of sadness or hopelessness. Depression is a mood disorder. It almost acts like the death eaters in Azkaban prison. Depression can drain you of all of your will and gumption. It can make a child feel hopeless and worthless. At times, it can instill feelings of guilt. Number six, behavioral problems at school. As a result of the other symptoms, they can exhibit behavioral problems at school. This sign is more of an indirect byproduct of internal turmoil and general irritability. They may end up starting fights at school or be talking back. Behavioral problems, especially at school, can be inconvenient and irksome to deal with. However, if you suspect that their lashing out is connected to depression, 
try to be compassionate. They may be reluctant to talk about it, but let them know that you're willing and ready to listen to them when they're ready to talk. Number seven, declining grades. Another result is a decline in their grades. A decline in their grades can happen gradually or immediately, but it's a sure sign that they've lost interest. Declined grades can also be a cry for help by subliminally letting others know that they feel emotionally overwhelmed. And number eight, social withdrawal. One of the last symptoms is social withdrawal. Extreme shyness can sometimes be a sign of depression, though that's not always the case. They may seem hesitant to make friends or lose connection with their current friends. Do you relate to this video? If so, please reach out to your child with compassion and understanding and talk to them if you notice any of these depressive symptoms. Depression can manifest itself in many different ways. However, if you notice that your child or teen becomes increasingly focused on death, prefers isolation, starts giving away their possessions, or is harming themselves, then these signs are especially concerning because they indicate that they've been thinking about suicide. Try and sit down and talk to them about what they're going through. They may not wanna talk back, but this lets them know that there is someone there for them. Please seek professional help to deal with some of the symptoms discussed in this video. We'll also include the suicidal hotline in the description below. Don't forget to like and share this video if it helped you and you think it could help someone else too. The studies and references used are listed in the description below. Hit the subscribe button for more Psych2Go videos and thank you for watching. We'll see you next time.